as night fell upon the battlefield around Ypres, or Wipers, as the Tommies mispronounced and knew it. The smell of death filled the air. The trenches were full of anxious and exhausted soldiers, waiting to receive the expected German attack that would start what would become known as the Second Battle of Ypres. But one man stood out, Sir Adrian Cardinal de Viert. He was a British officer with a reputation for bravery and had seen more battles than most. Born into an aristocratic Belgian family near Brussels, Carton de Vere was sent to school in England and later went on to study law at Oxford. But keen for adventure, and despite being underage, not being a British subject and without his father's consent, he abandoned university and joined the British army by lying about his age and adjusting his name to simply Trooper Carton and his quest for adventure came quickly. He found himself in South Africa and underwent a baptism of fire during the Second Boer War, where he distinguished himself whilst receiving bullet wounds to the stomach and groin. At the outbreak of World War I, Carton de Viet was still in the army. He was now a naturalised British subject and reunited with his ancestral name. He had been shipped off to the Horn of Africa and seconded to the Somaliland Camel Corps. During an attack on the Dervish stronghold at the top of Mount Shimbiras, he begged his commanding officer to be allowed to lead the 400-yard uphill charge to the hilltop fort. He took a bullet to the eye, followed by one to the elbow. A third bullet removed his ear. Pausing only momentarily to have the ear sewn back on, and seemingly unaffected by losing an eye, he rejoined the attack. A pattern and reputation began forming of reckless leadership with no regard for personal safety. Following a period of convalescence in London and frantic to be passed fit to return to active duty, Carton de Vere was required to wear a glass eye and undertake a medical examination, which he passed remarkably. However, his glass eye, which was his passport back to soldiering, caused him such discomfort that once he was declared fit, he threw it out of the back of a London taxi. He adopted a black eye patch, thus creating a look that became synonymous with his rising star. In the spring of 1915, Carton de found himself on the Western Front, along the French-Belgian border of Ypres, and in the path of the German advance. The Germans launched their attack with an artillery barrage and a shell exploded next to his trench. Shrapnel ripped into him, shattering his left hand and leaving two fingers dangling from the mangled mass. Despite his injuries, his only thoughts were to make sure the enemy didn't gain a foothold. Rather than succumbing to his wounds and not wanting to abandon his men, he tore off the two fingers, which frankly were getting in his way. Nonchalantly, he grabbed a rifle with his right hand and continued the fight. The Germans launched wave after wave of attacks during the night, but Sir Adrian and his men fought back fiercely, even as they were outnumbered and outgunned. The enemy soldiers were unrelenting, but he and his men stood their ground. As the dawn approached, the German attacks petered out, leaving behind a battlefield littered with the dead from both sides. Sir Adrian was severely wounded, but he'd survived. His courage and determination had inspired his soldiers and helped secure a crucial block to German ambition. Later, he was repatriated to Blighty, the soldier's affectionate term for Britain, where a surgeon removed his hand. He then spent some time recuperating in a nursing home in Park Lane, London, where he would return to each time he was injured. During his war service, this became so frequent that his pyjamas were kept there, pressed, ready for his next visit. Carton de Vere, now one-handed as well as one-eyed, once more managed to convince a medical board he was fit to return to active duty. In 1916, and now promoted to colonel, he took command of the 8th Battalion of the Gloucestershire Regiment at the Battle of the Somme. 
During fierce fighting for the village of La Boisselle, and when three other commanding officers had been killed, Carson de Vere took complete control. And true to form, he led from the front, fearlessly pressing home the attack, and then holding off countless enemy counterattacks. For this, he received the Victoria Cross, the highest British military award for gallantry. However, and throughout his life, he rarely mentioned his memory. He believed it had been won by every man of the 8th Gloucesters, and that he had done no more or less than any of his soldiers. There is no doubt that Sir Adrian Carton de Vere's story is one of the most remarkable tales of courage, resilience, and sheer bloody mindedness in the history of modern warfare. The eye patch, empty sleeve, and striking moustache combined with his bravery, cemented him into immediate folklore. But more than that, and during extreme conditions, in the face of impossible odds, his heroism and gritty leadership inspired ordinary soldiers to do extraordinary things. During the First World War, Sir Adrian Carton de Viet was severely wounded on eight occasions. Thank you.